Step six, implement a customized version of a layout file. Okay, and we now need to add the row layout, which is, as you can see in here, this recycled view basically consists of multiple rows and a single column. Each row presents the movie image, the movie title, the movie genre, and the movie year. So we will have to create a layout to uh, uh, present this. So let's go to the uh, resources folder. Let's go to the layouts and let's create a new layout file here. And let's just call it movie list row. For the, uh, let's keep things simple and for the role element, let's have relative layout. And here's the new layout, which is just being created. Let's go straight to the uh, XML. So right click in here and go to XML. And let's activate the preview so we can see whatever we are typing in here. Hopefully we will see the things coming up here. First of all, let's start with an image view. For the width and the height, let's keep, it, let's keep them to 100 dBs. 100 dB for the uh, width and the height, both of them. And let's give it a name. We will need to reference this from the code later. So the shortcut for image view is IV. And let's just type movie image. Okay. In order to be able to see an image here, let's have a sample image. And it's die hard. Let's change the height to the 120 dB. Okay, as you can see, that has the height has increased. Okay, so right next to this, I'd like to have almost in here, I'd like to have the, uh, the movie title. So let's have a text view. And for the width, let's, let's keep it to wrap content. And for the height, wrap content as well. And let's, of course, give it a name. Again, we will need to reference it. To reference this from the code later on. The shortcut for text view is TV and we should always give variables and views and classes and methods meaningful names. This is called TV movie name since it will hold the name of the movie. And just to be able to see what we have just added, let's have a sample text or a default text and let's call this Die Hard for example. Which is the name of this move. Okay, as you can see, there is a warning underneath this text because we should never ever mix code with text. Text values should go into the uh, strings file, which is this one here. The strings file is located in the value values folder, which is a subfolder of the resources directory. So to be able to fix this, let's just have alt enter extract string resource and extract the default name. So the warning is now gone. Okay, we can't see anything, so let's, sh let's uh, increase the text size. Okay, let's, let's have, for example, 24 SP, not DB, SP. And let's have a text style of bold. Okay. And as you can see, the text appears on the top of the image. That is because this is the default position. The default position is top left. And so we will need to add, we now need to fix the position. So we would like to have this to the end of the image or to the right of the image. To right of the movie image. And there we are, we now have Die Hard. And as you can see, we have a warning in here uh, behind this property. That's because this this has been updated and let's fix this again alt enter alt enter and replace this with to layout to end off now we will need to add the movie genre which should be positioned to the right of the image but below the movie name so let's copy this text view let's just paste it in here let's of course change the name first of all so this is movie genre the width and the height let's keep them to wrap content the text size, let's have them, for example, to 20 this time, or 22, and the, let's keep the size to bold, and it is still to the right of the image. But please, look at this. The movie genre is now positioned on the top of the movie name. So we need to fix that by adding this line of code. So below layout, and 
it should go below the movie name and there we are let's change this text property uh, which is right in here let's delete this and let's write for example the word action again we have a warning to fix this click alt and enter alt and enter accept the default name and the uh, warning is now gone and there we are this is the movie name this is the movie general now let's add the movie here it should appear right there so again it's a text view so let's copy this let's paste in here copy them using command c and paste using command v let's first of all change the name into movie here and instead of this text let's replace this text with 2015 for example I don't know if this is the real production here, but anyway. Uh, let's fix this, because we have a warning in here. Let's fix them using Alt and Enter. Accept the default name. And look at that. It actually overwrites the movie genre. So let's delete these two last properties. And again, there is now back to the default position, which is top left. We need it to the right of this. So let's write this. Align parent right and set that to true. There we are. Now it looks nice, right? Okay, and by the way, let's have a padding for the entire layout. A padding of say 15 for example, 15 dB. Okay, and as you can see, right now we have actually some space in here to the top, to the left, to the right, and everything. And by the way, let's have a background color. So I like this one. 